Hey guys, welcome to another video. My name is Antonio. You guys already know, I would have been working on a ton of other reviews for cleats, but I'm currently going through an injury, an IT band syndrome injury. It's just from overuse of um, just running. And so I'm dealing with that pain and I got cleared enough to like actually go onto the field. So I'm just gonna do something light. I'm gonna make this a review of the Champo 10. Now it's just gonna be like a first impressions I did bring my Champo 9s out here with me as well so I can do a comparison of the two for you guys so I'm super excited about this review I hope you guys can hit a thumbs up make sure to subscribe and make sure to leave a comment and let me know how excited you guys are about Nike moving to non-leather it's kind of crazy I don't know I know a couple of you guys are going to be upset because I seriously don't even have my Mizunos in here. The reason I don't have my Mizunos is because I literally... Oh, look at these guys, man. They look slick. They look slick. I have the Tampo 9s in here, too. I love these guys. Look at them. I wear them a lot. Uh, but the reason I don't have my Mizunos here is because they're going to take some time to break in. And literally, since I'm injured, I don't want to put too much pressure on my knee because I get pain like right here and I know if my like feet aren't comfortable in the cleats and all of that stuff for a first impression because I haven't worn them out here on the field I just don't want to get injured uh, because of that pressure of the cleat just being so tight against my foot so these feel really good I tried them on really quick at home and they felt comfortable enough for me to feel comfortable out here to give you first on impressions on the field. So let's do that. Let's go. So how did it look on feet, guys? What do you guys think? They're beautiful, super comfortable. I do have more normal to narrow feet, um, and I feel really comfortable. My toe definitely goes to the end of the cleat, where exactly where I like it. And I did get these in my regular seven and a half, so just wanna let you guys know. They feel good. What do you guys think of this colorway? Let me know down below. Crazy, huh? Alrighty guys, just did a little bit of a dynamic warm up, did the ladders, felt really good. No pressure points surprisingly at all. I don't have a single pressure point. That's an awesome thing. In the Tampo 9s, I definitely had some pressure points on like the outside of my foot while that leather was stretching. But here, absolutely nothing to complain about. They feel like they're already broken in, it's so weird. Because the heel is just that like simple, you know, it's just such a simple heel that it literally just feels like they're already broken in. I know a lot of people, you know, may like that, may not like that uh, because of how like soft it is in the back. But I personally like it because it already feels like the cleats are broken in. And the heel is like the area where I usually like feel the most pressure 
um, on a lot of cleats, even like vapors. So I really like this heel. It's awesome. Not pushing against my Achilles or anything. Feels super, super comfortable. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and do some juggles for you guys. And I'll do some light cone drills and then I'll call it a day. Maybe I'll get into some shooting, but I need to be careful with my knee and make sure that I heal correctly so that I can keep making these videos for you guys. I gotta say, juggling felt good. It's crazy how I don't have any pressure points. I literally feel like I can jump on the field and just play. Direct, like legitimately just play uh i will say the upper feels good it like no complaints whatsoever but it definitely doesn't feel like actual actual leather it definitely gives you like somewhat of a padding sensation but it's definitely not similar to leather like i would say it's like like 40 percent feeling similar ish but it's not really there. Um, you don't get like that plush, plush, like leather feeling, but it's, it's impressive. It's definitely soft, plush, like um, ish enough to like give you like some of a sensation that you're wearing like a leather boot, um, but it's not like fully there. Uh, maybe even like 50% there, but not 100%. Uh, I still really impressed. It's crazy I don't have any pressure points or how comfortable they feel and how I can just jump into a juggling session and not like have my feet burning. Uh, it's pretty impressive what they've done here. And I gotta give them kudos. I'll, I'll give them kudos, Nike. Good job, seriously. <laughs> done feeling a little pressure on the outside of my foot on both feet it started on my left foot like right on that Nike check like right around here and now it's on to my right foot and it's definitely bothering me like it's irritating me a little bit uh, but just like normal break-in kind of thing nothing like alarming or anything just you know classic breaking in cleats you gotta love it but they feel good i actually think that if nike's able to make this silo again and just make it feel like more leather then they're definitely going to beat out the tampo 9 because personally speaking for me i come from vapors and i have a narrow foot and in the tampo 9 the toe box was almost perfect but I stretched out a little bit nothing like crazy not like the Mizunos that um, I had the size down on but like it stretched out a little bit and um, I really like how this toe box in the Tampo 10 is tight 
it just makes me feel more confident and makes me feel like I'm really like you know connected to my cleat just like a vapor so I'm really excited to see these uh, break in but the toe box is definitely more narrow I can tell you like that immediately uh, and it's not a bad thing for me because I have relatively narrow to normal feet but definitely take into consideration if you have wide feet might be something you might have to consider but it is a tampo so I would anticipate the material to at least stretch out enough for you to be happy even if you had wide feet it's not like narrow enough to say like whoa you can't wear these if you have wide feet I wouldn't say that at all like you definitely would get used to it it would definitely I believe stretch up stretch out enough for you to feel confident and happy if you had wide feet now I will say the touch on the ball feels really good it's soft like thin feeling so it's really really nice it's not as thin as obviously a vapor but I will say I'm really impressed with how thin the material is while still giving you that sensation of somewhat of a leather boot. Let's go into some shooting really lightly. Guys, take this for a grain of salt because I am injured and I literally just got cleared to be out here. It's kind of crazy how you like don't get any touches on the ball and your like touch goes straight to poop poop. But let's go. Let's do some shooting really lightly and then we'll call it a day. Mr. Mad Nine here. He's also recovering. But we're gonna be back on the field soon, guys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, let me get some uh, touches for you guys. Let's see how Arsenal does for the season, guys. But I'm going to end it here. So the Tempo 9s, which I'm wearing right, right now. There's just this plushness, guys. It's, it's, uh, those are definitely good cleats. The Tempo 10s are nice. They're nice. But if I had to pick a cleat for myself and just go off of what, I prefer the Tempo 9s are still it. Tempo 9s just feel good. They feel, whew, I just love them. They feel great. I can't complain about them. They just form to my foot. We'll see how the Tempo 10s break in, but man, there's just something about like just having leather on cleats that I just prefer. Um, but it's not to say that these are horrible at all. These are nice cleats these are fantastic cleats but comparing them damn the tempo nice just feel so plush so nice i don't know how many times i have to say it, but they just feel so good and this is what i was talking about guys like the leather is just plushy it's padded, like spongy you got these pods here that just help with your touch like absorbing a pass and just feels so good like getting a touch right on that pod or getting like touches here just feels 
exceptional. It just feels so flipping good. But we're some Mad Nines warming up and stuff. We're just gonna get some really light touches here and just call it a day because we're both recovering from similar injuries, you know. Just, you know, summer got exciting and we were going in. But I appreciate you guys so much. Make sure to hit a like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys think of this colorway down below. And let me know, are you guys copying the Tampo 10? This is just the first impressions, but I'll definitely have a review in a month. I'm gonna work on the Mizuno review next for you guys. So first impressions of the Mizunos, but like I said, the Mizunos are so tight. I don't want to injure myself with like breaking in cleats and then also dealing with injury. It just doesn't sound fun for me. So here we go. I love you guys.